Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Deloy. So I'm going to try to keep this nice and short and to the point. But today we finally got to see some extended gameplay of college football 25. And man, it looks really good. <laughs> it looks really good. Um, I was definitely impressed by what I seen. There are some, you know, small hiccups, but man, overall for a game, that I've been waiting 11 years for um, a game that I'm not going to lie to you. I was going to play if it was off or not. I would have told y'all it was bad, but I was going to play it. Um, this makes me feel even better. Now, of course, I still have not played college football 25. So maybe it is awful. It is laggy. It is non-responsive. Maybe all of that happens when I get my hands on it, but just visually watching it, it looks good. It looks good. And it looks none of those things I just said. It looks very responsive. The gameplay looks fast. And you know we love fast gameplay when it comes to college football. Wide open gameplay. One-on-one -on -one tackling should be difficult. And man, it looks like that is going to be a tough task to try to get a running back one-on-one. -on -one. So where do we start? Of course, the presentation looks good. Sounded good. I don't really think there's much else to say. I mean, we already went over the presentation before, but it looks and sounds really good. So, I mean, I think they definitely did the thing there. Um, the celebrations, we did get to see the actual list of celebrations that you could do after scoring a touchdown and just seeing it in action. I think that is cool, kind of going to the old FIFA. I know it's EAFC now, but the old FIFA route where you kind of had to, you know, hit certain combinations. So it might be R1 and left on the left thumbstick. This could do a certain celebration there. So you can kind of get creative, do your own signature celebration over time. So I definitely do think presentation was cool. Um, you've seen a lot of um, overlays in terms of like player comparisons or stat overlays, halftime players of the game, full-time players of the game. All of those add to the element of presentation. We did not see any cut ways in terms of um in studio breaks because this was not dynasty mode gameplay this was play now gameplay but presentation looks good um on the passing side we did get to see a little bit more of the throwing me to the new passing system that they had in college football 25 it looks solid it looks simple um one thing i was uh, not hesitant on because I thought it would be okay, but you know, I heard people talking about it with just really the size of the throwing meter. But seeing them play, it looks like it's really not an issue to be honest. It doesn't really take away from too much. Um, you do see it, but the way they have it laid out is cool, right? If you if you hit it in the blue zone, pretty much the whole thing is um, you won't have a lot of errors when it comes to passing the football. I'm sure you still will, um, based off the quarterback, but you won't have. You know, it will lessen the amount of errors you'll have from the quarterback. Um, you get in the yellow zone, you get a little bit more error than you get it in the red. You have a chance of missing the throw or um, the receiver has a harder time to catch the football. I think all of that pretty neat stuff and the misses aren't crazy. It's just kind of off the line. So they might have to slow down a little bit or might be a little bit ahead of them. But it's not, you know, you, everybody knows you run the drag. He's in the middle and you throw it to the other hash mark. Like everybody has had that in a Madden game. Um, th this is not that <laughs> this is not that very small misses. I like that system and, um, border looked like he had a nice, um, throw that like you would have used the, um, precision pass. I believe that's what it's called in Madden. I don't know what it's called, but you will hold the left trigger or L2 and then you'll be able to uh, make that, that pass. He didn't need to hold the left trigger or L2 at all. This was purely done just from the left stick. So that was the pass trajectories. I think passing is going to be really fun in this game and i think it's going to be just enjoyable so that definitely checks out running game look good the running game looks really good now i will see say i have seen some people and i could just see how it's going to go some people are going to say it could be a little unrealistic with the jukes it looks like you you see jukes from maybe previous gen maddens um, in terms of the fluidity of it and how effective they are, um, definitely more representative of it, even how it looked in NCAA football 14, right? Where especially the double juke, the double juke, man, I do not need to remember the double juke. The double juke was insanely effective in NCAA football 14. 
Um, it does look like that type of system is more back in play instead of the animation heavy juking that we get from Madden. I am a fan, so I do know some people may not like it, especially if you can just spin by people pretty easy, juke by people pretty easy. Um, but I'm a fan of it. I think it makes the game fun. It makes it tough to tackle, and it makes you feel like, like you nice when you got the ball. Um, so that is definitely one thing. The left stick little cuts. The one cuts, those look extremely impressive and very fluid. And I think that is going to, you know, that combined with the jukes and the spins and the double jukes is going to be a runner's dream. I definitely do think that. Um, I don't think there's going to be a game where it's going to be a lot of low scoring games. But to me, I have fun with those. So if you're a straight defensive guy, I don't know how much you would enjoy trying to make those one-on-one -on -one tackles, but I think you would like the challenge of it but everything is still pretty much counterable because now we go over to defense what i've seen on defense they do not have the boomstick tech or whatever it was called in madden 25 these hit sticks were definitely landing i've seen quite a few of these hit sticks and that along with the wear and tear system i think could slow down some offenses so the hit sticks were definitely doing this thing obviously the right stick um of changing the other defenders or covers defenders while the quarterback still has the football. I think that's going to be a game changer, especially when you know you might have a crosser, you might want to bait and then switch to another defender and make a play. I think that stuff, especially if you master that, is going to be game changing on the defensive end. So I do think you have a little bit of way to counter the explosive offense. We've seen quite a few interceptions. I mean, there was one that was, the pass was deflected by the D lineman who was jumping and then it was picked off by the other D line. Like, so I definitely think there's gonna be ways to still come up with stops or to get turnovers on the defensive end, but offense is gonna be fun. Oh, we also seen the pitching. I didn't talk about the, I forget to talk about this when I was talking about the running. The different pitches, we did get kind of see that in play. I think that is awesome. The cover shells on defense, being able to disguise, uh, say a cover one look, you want to go too high, but then drop down to that cover three or that cover one look, or you can have two high safeties or one high safety and then somehow drop that safety that, that came down to the box, drop him back, and now you're in a cover four or, you know, you're in a cover two or whatever the case may be. So I think that is definitely a good addition. I definitely like that addition a lot. And really just in general, I'm looking forward to it. I think they did their thing with Dynasty. We still have to wait to see how Road to Glory looks later this week. I believe it might be tomorrow we get Ultimate Team news. So this game is a week away. A week away. I I don't have a lot of words, man. I liked what I seen. I liked what I seen. And we kept hearing that this game is, is better than Madden. It, it's one of the best football games they've ever played from the people that attended the event and it's looking like we can see why this game looks amazing man of course it is a video game there are going to be flaws but for my first impression it's a dub it's a dub man so that's my first thoughts and you know what i've seen when i watched the video it looked really good, man. But y'all let me know. Did I miss anything? Is there anything that you guys seen that you love that I did not talk about? What do you guys think about the gameplay as a, as a whole? Was it a dub? Is it not as good as you thought? Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. As usual, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please do me a favor. Go ahead, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. And subscribe if you haven't already. It's D-Lord. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.